everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do want to apologize for not uploading a video for about a month now. I know it's a pretty long time, but I just want to let you know that I'm still very interested in making videos and just sharing my ideas with you. I just really haven't had the time and I will try my best to upload them as frequent as I can. So again, I'm really sorry. Anyways, in this video, I'll be sharing a DIY, which I personally think is perfect for any of you or any of us who are renting a place, whether it's an apartment or a house, or whether you're in a budget, if you can't spend money on paint and decorations, or you're just simply crafty, you like to make things yourself, I think this DIY will be perfect because it's really easy and really inexpensive, and you can personalize it all the way so um it's actually right behind me it's a decoration that i made for my room and yeah i think i think you will like it i hope you do <laughs> i will have all the measurements down in the about section below so you can check that out and thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in my next video and i hope you try yourself the inspiration to my whole decor is the window, which lets in a lot of light and it just gives a really fresh and soothing vibe, hence why I chose the color white and green. And now I'm just adding a lot more color to make it a little bit more refreshing and just relaxing to be in. Now let's get started with the materials. I will have the sizes and where I purchased everything in the about section down below, so go check that out. And I'll have any other little tip that I have for you down there, I just don't want to make this video longer than it should be. The main material is going to be fabric. You just have to find the color combinations that you like the most. You're going to have thousands of choices when it comes to patterns and colors. My main color is actually yellow, which is bright and fun. And I just went from there. I found different colors that will actually complement with yellow. And also I had some hints of yellow in that pattern to make everything just complement the entire thing. And now let's move on to the not so fun but yet still very important materials like the cardboard box, some scissors or a blade, and also the adhesive of your choice which can be a spray glue, hot glue, tape, or super glue, and some string. I personally use hemp because it has a really nice vintage look to it. And then you also might need uh, something to make holes so you can use a single hole puncher. And last but not least, you might want to iron your frames so they can look nicer. So we are going to need an iron. And the process goes like this. Start by separating your cardboard pieces with the blade or scissors. And all you have to do is cut to the creases of the cardboard which are already there. Then go ahead and iron your fabric for a clean look. It really does make a difference on how the frame comes out. Then go ahead and place the cardboard on top of the fabric. If your fabric is really thin and see-through, make sure that the cardboard is facing you if it has any type of numbers or letters. That way the numbers do not come through the fabric. And now we're on the part where we put everything together. Just remember that if you have any pattern on your fabric, to have it just the way you want it before you glue it down. And pretty much in this step, you're going to choose which adhesive you want to use. I'm personally going to use tape because it really holds really, really well on cardboard and fabric. And this just gives me the options to be able to change the fabric on the cardboard without damaging the cardboard or the fabric. And it was just a lot easier for me to do a lot faster. And it's also going to save me a lot of um, money in the long run. If you want something less visible than tape in the back, then you can use hot glue, which is going to hold really well. You just have to make sure that you don't use too much so that you don't have bumps in the back. And if you want something more long lasting, then you can use super glue on the edges only. And that way it's going to give you a better hold, but you'll still be able to take off the fabric. 
And then if you want something permanent, then of course you can use the spray glue, which is going to, uh, of course, uh, be sprayed on the entire cardboard, which is going to hold the fabric in every inch. Once the gluing or tapping is done, all you have to do is punch two holes at the top of the frame and just place the string to hang the frame. I made regular knots to secure the string and then went ahead and made little bows on each end to add a cute detail. This is it. I really love how each came out. It just gives my room more life and color. And thank you so much for watching. Leave me any request and don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you like.